Hi Hans, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, my name is Lucy, welcome and I've said this before and I'm gonna say again, whenever Fenty is dropping, I'm buying. So today we are testing Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara and Flight Pencils. And I must say Fenty is coming hard for our money. At the end of last year she released Holiday Collection, then 8 Snap Shadow Palettes and now she's coming with Mascara and 20 Eye Pencils. So if you are a fan of Fenty, you need to have a quite thick wallet. My last makeup test in 2019 was Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows, link in the description box down below. And now we are doing the first makeup test in 2020 and again Fenty Beauty, so I decided I'm gonna wear the same outfit. But you're not here for outfits, you are here for the product. So if you wanna see how full frontal mascara and flight pencils perform, please keep on watching. I'm gonna start with mascara, Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. And it comes in this rose metallic packaging with black splatters. And it comes with quite interesting brush. On one side is quite flat to curl your lashes and define them. And the other side is, let's call it fat, to lift the lashes and give you volume. And I appreciate that Fenty is always trying to do something different, something extra. Sometimes it works like it was with colorful highlights and matte sticks. And sometimes it doesn't like snap shadows. Well, the shadows are pretty, but the snapping thing, useless. And I guess there's no point for longer introduction, let's put it to the test. Well, without lashes and without brows, I look like my mom had two close relationships with more people. And if you have hooded eyes, the good way to apply mascara is to look down, so you're not gonna transfer mascara into your lids. Well, my first thought is I definitely see the curl and I see the land, but I don't see much of the volume. But let me go with another side and just build this. Now I'm gonna give you a little bit of close up and I hope you can see the difference. My lashes were never that long. The volume is still missing, but the length of the lashes, girl, I'm happy. And my lashes are naturally quite short and quite stiff and they're hard to curl. So I appreciate that the mascara actually curl them and give them a proper length. And now let's go to second product, Fenty Beauty Fly Pencil Longwear Pencil Eyeliner. And I got two of them in shades Black Card and Puppy Eyes. And overall Fenty released 20 shades in three different finishes or maybe four different finishes, mattes, shimmers, metallics and glitters. mattes, shimmers, metallics and glitters. And honestly, I don't know my shades, what kind of finish they're supposed to be. I'm gonna guess that black card's gonna be more glitter and puppy eyes is the metallic one, but don't take my word for it. They're supposed to be very pigmented, long wearing, smudge proof, and we're gonna test this out. So first we go with the black, and I said it's the one with the shimmer. And poppy eyes is like a brown, gold, definitely metallic. The shades are pretty. I've chosen the most universal ones, but they are also crazy colors. Pink, blues, purples, green, white, whatever you need. Uh, but I wanted something that I can wear every day. And I saw on Fenty Instagram that you can smudge this and use this as eyeshadow. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna use them as eyeshadow and as a liner as well. So I'm gonna start with puppy eyes and just go on my lash line and a little bit in my crease. And it goes on the skin so smoothly and now I'm gonna try to blend this. And as you can see, it blended very easily, but now let's see if they are smudge proof. Ooh, as you can see, I'm going quite hard on my hand and they stay in place. Maybe the glitter from the black one is moving a little bit, but the metallic shade stay 100% intact. And now with black card, I wanna create a graphic liner. 
Okay, one thing I must say, because the pencil is quite fat, it's hard to get a precise thin line in, in a corner. I'm gonna try this with a brush. Okay, I have to admit, it goes on the skin like butter and it blends out so easily. But because of that, if you wanna do a graphic precise liner, it's not gonna be the best tool. I feel like the other pencils, like for example, Pat McGrath's gonna perform better if you wanna do that. But if you wanna have something soft, smudge it out or use this for smoky eye, it's gonna be really good. And for final touches, I'm gonna use Highlight Sandcastle. I have this one on my cheek and it comes from this holiday set and the lip gloss from the set I have on my lips. So I'm just gonna bring a little bit more light to the eyes. And on the lower lash line, I'm gonna go again with puppy eyes and just try to blend this into my skin. Okay, let me do the other off camera and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. So this is the final look. When you look straight, it looks like a very simple everyday look, but when you close your eyes, you see this graphic detail. As far as fly pencils goes, I'm gonna say like for everyday simple makeup, they're gonna be great. You can apply those all over your lid, smudge the edges a little bit, and then intensify this on your lash line and you have a perfect, easy, smoky eye done in one minute. If you wanna do something more precise, something more graphic, recommend to use other pencils those are twist off so I don't know how much of products you have inside because it goes only one way so I don't want to pull all thing out because then I will not be able to use it but on the box it said that inside you have 0 0.3 gram and just to compare Pat McGrath will give you one 1.2 gram and Urban Decay 1.2 gram as well. I'm shocked right now. Like, I'm a little bit speechless. In all of my other pencils, you get four times more product than in Fenty Beauty. And it was 18 pounds. I think Urban Decay is more or less the same price. And Pat McGrath is 23, but still you have four times more product and it comes with a sharpener. So Fenty, overpricing much, again. So I just did quick math of camera and actually you are paying 60 pounds for one gram of a product with Fenty and with Pat McGrath, you are paying 19 pounds for one gram. Grr, grr. And with Urban Decay, it's just 15 pounds per one gram. So Fenty, you played us. And as far as full frontal mascara goes, I'm gonna say it's a good mascara, but depends on what you need from mascara. I need curl and plant, and that's what the mascara gave me. It didn't give me much of a volume. So if you just need more volume and you are happy with your lens, then again, I would recommend to use something different. But if you're looking for this curve for this lens, it's gonna be a good mascara. Is this the best mascara on the market? Mm, I don't know. For my needs, is definitely in top three. But again, as I said, if you need more volume, you might be a little bit disappointed. I guess that's it Hans. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please click the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, show me some love, show me some support and see you on the next one. Bye!